Hey there YouTubers, all right. So, unboxing video time. And now, a lot of people hate when I start yapping on the channel, but hey, gotta lead into this a little. I've been doing primarily Intel motherboards, CPUs, for God, who knows how long, at least a year now. I can't remember the last AMD computer I built. So, forgive me if uh, I say something wrong about this, but I decided it's time to do an AMD build. Uh, see if I'm missing out on anything. And, uh, you know, the uh, AMD 5700 or 5700 XT, hopefully I got that right, video card is, uh, you know, pretty, pretty good card for the money. And... I wanted to get one here for the channel, so to do that, I need an AMD motherboard. I need an AMD CPU, so um, I'm not sure what CPU I'm going to get to go with this motherboard, but uh, we will find out. All right, so first thing, we're going to unbox it, and then we're going to do an overview of the features, and you know, hopefully everything that I see, I'll know. Um, it's probably going to be some stuff that I'm not, I'm clueless on, um, which, you know, is unusual for my motherboard unboxings. I usually am pretty familiar with what, uh, what you get. So, um, hopefully you can't see the sticker where I bought this at, but, uh, I did get a, uh, new open box deal, um, because I just could not get myself to spend full price on a, you know, completely brand new one. But the person I bought this, I bought from before, and I'm pretty confident that when this person tells me all they did is open it up and take out the heat shield, I'm uh, pretty sure that's the case. So uh, these are normally one, I want to say 150 brand new. Um, of course, yours truly didn't get it for anywhere near that, but uh, that's the way that goes. All right, so we're going to open this uh, box up. Oh, we got a little, little damage here to the box. I hope that didn't go through. Now, this box feels really freaking heavy, folks. Um, way heavier than your regular ATX Intel uh, motherboards. So, I'm kind of curious what I got myself into. Now, you saw in the title, that's why you're here. AMD motherboard, obviously. MPG X570 Gaming Plus. Uh, I've done a couple of Intel MSI Gaming Plus motherboards. Real happy with them. Uh, I got to say, honestly, though, my favorite motherboards are my Gigabyte Eris Gaming motherboards. I've got a couple of those here. And then next, maybe the MSI ones. Because uh, this this channel, it's got some good gear on it, but uh, none of the real ridiculously high-end stuff. Because not only is the channel not making enough money to get that stuff, uh, we're going to keep it real. All right. So this will support the AMD 3000, uh, Risen 3000 chips, which is why I bought it. Uh, and I believe the, uh, the 2000 series as well, which it says down there. Uh, so that is good. So in a moment we'll switch over and get some close-ups of this. I've got it out of the box. Let me go ahead and get behind the camera and see if we can get some better angles. Now normally I use uh, Studio uh, B, we'll call it, to do these unboxings. But uh, that one is packed today so all right, well, we should look at the back first. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into here. Mystic Light, so it's going to have some RGB stuff most likely. Uh, 2x CPU power, 48 amps, 540 maximum power delivery. So, oh wow, 4 plus 8 pin. So, that's interesting. I knew about it, but uh, you know, from what I understand, this is uh, most most of your power supplies, at least that I've dealt with, 
are either uh, have one four by pin, two four by pin gives you the eight. But now we're starting to see, I guess, some uh, four plus eight pins uh, on these motherboards. So to do the additional four pin, obviously it's going to take one heck of a power supply. It's probably going to be really expensive. Uh, but if you want to overclock, that's uh, supposedly the only way to do it. So, all right, what else do we have here? Um, supposedly the M2s are faster, right? Gen 4, that'll be exciting. Um, as soon as I can get a hold of a Gen 4 that's not too overpriced, I will have it in here. Otherwise, we'll probably, um, probably use an EVO, Samsung EVO 960, 970. Or a PM981 in here. Alright, so can't really read any of this other crap. So let's go ahead and get into it. I can tell you folks that uh, this motherboard is um, going to be a little different for me, like I said. We're going to have an interesting time building it. Can tell you that much. Okay, so this is this is scary. No uh, no CPU covers, and uh, it's different. I'll tell you. I'm gonna have to do some reading. Probably watch some more some other uh, videos on here. Figure out that looks like uh, basically my um, location for uh, lining up the CPU. All right, so we've got our uh, DDR4 RAM here, four, four slots, and uh, this should be 288 pin. And uh, I forgot all the different speeds this will uh, take, but uh, I should hopefully, the RAM I have should be good. Here's your 24 pin connector uh, from the power supply. There is uh, the SATA 3s. Now, I don't know if they are uh, a better version of SATA for this. Of course, in the box, folks, we also have the uh, manual. MSI has some really good manuals in case you haven't done any computer builds. Um, they are really top notch when it comes to those. All right, so SATA one through six, SATA six gigabytes per second connectors. So it doesn't say uh, SATA four or something. So as far as I know, folks, those are the same SATAs, which means uh, hard drives aren't going to be that quick. Now, obviously, CPU there. Here is uh, this has uh, two. M.2 NVMe spots it looks like and there's a little rubber pad for it to sit on um, they did not include the screw which is a bummer but it uh, looks like I have two uh, one here and one over there which is nice and I will definitely take advantage of that we'll have uh, we'll have an operating system on one and uh, storage on the other because uh, I have plenty of SSDs lying around here, so. Now, this almost looks like a USB 3.0 on its side. Um, this is one of those cases, folks, where I'm going to take a time out. I am actually uh, outmatched by this motherboard, and I need to do some studying up on it. So I'll be back in a second. All right, folks, I got the motherboard out of the box. In a moment, we'll go over what's actually on the motherboard. Let's uh, go ahead and get the rest of the stuff out of the box. So there is the uh, user guide, which I started to take a look at. Hopefully it'll help guide us through all the new stuff that we're going to see on here since I'm an Intel guy. Um, standard with uh, MSI is to also give you a quick installation guide. 
I'm going to have to take a look at this and ensure that uh, I know what I'm doing because uh, this is definitely a different setup than what uh, Intel does. Um, so that will be interesting. Now, case standoff notification. I'll have to read up on what that is. First, you got your driver disc. Driver disc. We have a um, True Gaming little uh, little booklet here. There is another uh, MSI um, sticker that I can put on the case if I wanted to. Here is a way to register your MSI product. Now I've got something um, something about an MSI shootout. Review, reward, win, write a review and let us know. We'll reward you with a cool gift. So I don't want to show this because uh, it's got one of those QR codes on it. In case. Now this, folks, I have no clue what this is. Uh, I will eventually figure this out. But, uh, you know, somebody will probably leave a comment down below if I forget. It almost looks like a heat sink for an M2, but it's it's really big. Um, and I don't know where it would go on the motherboard. And then uh, some SATA 3 cables. So, um, these are uh, always useful. It includes, thank God... In case I don't edit the uh, other portion correctly, um, I was talking about the lack of screws. So there's one screw here and a second screw in this little baggie. All right, so let's get to the motherboard. This is definitely one of those motherboards, folks, where you got to do a little studying. Um, and unfortunately, being this is one of my all right, this is so my first. I'm going to line this up a little better Andy. for y'all. Hopefully you guys can see this. All right, so we're going to go over these. Some of these I don't know what they are exactly. Some of them I do. So let's, uh, let's talk about these. So a very important one here, JFP1 connector. This is going to connect your case, uh, your front case connectors and sometimes those end up on top but most cases uh, your connectors will be on the front that these go with so that's your uh, power LED your HDD LED the reset switch all right so those connectors there um, above that is what's called a J rainbow one which I'm not really familiar with and uh, over here we've got your USB 3.0 so this is going to correspond with your case as well if you have a 3.0 connector if not you would use this uh, in conjunction maybe with a uh, separate add-on um, uh, section that you could add to your case that they, they sell alright above that is your uh, JFP2 over here is uh, two USB 2.0, so uh, these would also connect to your, uh, or one of those would connect to your case. One of those would connect to a, a separate module. Now next to that is your JCOM 1. And then you've got four sets of system fan headers, which is awesome. They're all lined up like that. Um, I say that's awesome. That may not be so awesome. It depends on your case. All right, next to that is JTPM1. And then I think this is JRGB1. Over here is going to be your HD audio. So um, that will also come from your case. All right, so... 
obviously different size uh, PCI Express slots, graphics card, CMOS, some of these I've previously called out. So up here, this should be your CPU fan connector. Uh, I only see one. So let's, um, let's zoom out again. And hopefully I will remember to delete everything I said uh, for like the last minute or two. Because you guys didn't see it. <laughs> um, so up here appears to be the CPU fan connector. Um, there's another, this would appear to be another system fan connector here. All right, let's uh, look at the side of this. I'm going to zoom in. Now this is going to have some new toys in it, okay? Uh, some of these things similar maybe to the Z390. Some of it may be more advanced than the Z390 has. So, let's, uh, let's pause this a second. Alright, so we're going to look at this in a second and actually call these out, but there it is from the manual. And that's what it actually looks like in real life, folks. So, um, these are all your audio ports over here. Here's your LAN or Ethernet, where your Ethernet cable is going to go. Now, these are uh, new for me, even though I think the C390 has some, but this is a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A, so you got two of those there. I love the fact it's got a USB, um, well this is actually USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C. I'm going to have to read up on that one. But I do love the fact it's got uh, Type C on it. Um, can't wait till Type C is in the front of these cases. I think I have an HP desktop that has uh, one in the front. So above that is another USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A. Over to the left, now these are uh, USB 3.2 Gen 1's Type A. So uh, this is this would be the most advanced of your USB, it appears. And then we've got, let's see, four of the other kind. Then over here, though, we have USB 2.0's Type A. And I don't know why in the world this has a PS2, the old PS2 style. Um, there's a flash BIOS button over here. So that is really interesting. And then I didn't call it out, but HDMI right there. So pretty good selection of connectors. Uh, this this is your basically, you know, your 2020 and who knows how many years into the future type motherboard. So this one is really cool. Now on the audio ports, we've got a mic in there, a line out, line in, rear speaker out, and a center subwoofer out. So that's all mixed up in there. And I don't know. That looks like a fiber optic uh, connector, folks. I did not know that had it. Uh, optical SPDIF out right there. So this thing... This thing's going to be uh, hooked up to my stereo. This is going to be awesome. All right, well, that's all uh, I've got for this, folks. Um, I hope you got something out of it. And, uh, you know, next time I do one of these uh, AMD motherboards, uh, it's going to be a lot easier on me because I'm going to be a lot more familiar. But, hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like.